little bit Guys, let me do my Shakira impression. <laughs> something, something, get on the floor. <laughs> Um, you should shake it. You're in your Zumba clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Zumba, 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 get on the I don't, floor. My body does not move the way that Shakira's and J-Lo's does. We don't have like the that was, We should have worn ooh. our gold and silver today. I just am wearing... In honor of Super Bowl. Doug. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> we we're going to wear our gold and silver. And then... Because I'm gold and dirty. she's silver. Mine was in the laundry. <laughs> yeah. We forgot to wear our... Um, we forgot to wear our gold and silver underwear today. In honor of Super Bowl. <laughs> we forgot to wear it. <laughs> oh, there he is! We thought you were sick with the flu because you didn't get your flu shot. Flu's the myth. I don't get the flu. Oh, but you were all like, I don't feel good. I'm sick. Hey, Rob, how'd you like that halftime show? Well, first of all, I had food poisoning. <laughs> oh. Second of all, it was probably your buddy, the governor, who did it. <laughs> Wait, Third. why? How would you get food poisoning okay, from the governor? Okay, so seriously, how did you like the halftime show? I didn't watch it. I you didn't it. watch it? It's way too promiscuous for me. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Hey, yeah. <laughs> how did it feel to watch your boy literally poop his pants on national television in the fourth quarter? Her yeah. boy, the boy that, that he's referring to is Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh -huh. I listen. I just would have been there. Did he actually? Did he? I didn't watch to any comfort of Comfort him. Yeah. After <laughs> Garoppolo was... is that 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 uh, like cute little specimen on the 49ers. Only not little. I've never seen a man's <laughs> penis literally fall off on national television. Uh, it was did it incredible. fall off? Did it just shrivel up and I fall mean, off? I mean, it was incredible. Really? Yeah. Just Poor fell right Jimmy. off. Oh, I bet he's okay. I'm sure he, he probably ran to his little, like the chick that does, what do you call it? The, the mom porn? Milk porn. That's right. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't have an actual girlfriend. He just does yeah. that, right? Poor Jimmy. Maybe so what did you guys think of the halftime show? I didn't. I, I just, was I watched, totally entertained by I it. I watched it this morning. I feel like it was kind of 90s, you guys. Everyone, like there are so many people who are upset about how sexified it was. Well, like a lot of they people They were basically, are you know, well, I mean, I, you know, if I had my, my nine-year-old daughter in the room, I probably would have been like, this is probably not the most appropriate thing, you know. Yeah. But, it, for 14-year-old boys, it was great. <laughs> And for Rob, it was good. <laughs> My son really enjoyed it. So yeah. serious but, question. What? Yeah. Are we allowed to objectify women? Well, this is the question, right? So I can't tell. Are they empowered because they were so naked and everyone was leering at them? Or are they... Or are they going to be mad that everybody's paying more attention to their bodies? Look at my music? boobs. Don't look at my boobs. This is the look at question for the ages, don't look right? At them. Yeah, I don't. We can't decide what's more. Yeah, I don't what's know. feminism now? Yeah, I don't. I don't. We have no idea. I think that they want people to look at. Otherwise, why would they be out there? Right. And then she brought her daughter up on stage, and she's like, "I got an American fuzzy flag, and I'm showing my boobs <laughs> and my bits. And here's my 11 year old. And here's my daughter. Who, by the way." Has got some pipes. Well, I mean, her dad is Mark Anthony. Yeah. So there's that. It's, it's, not, like, it's not like she's going to go into, like, the STEM field. <laughs> and she's banged a lot of dudes. Who? Jennifer Lopez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got a track record. She has some experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's got quite... But Good. man, Good she is amazing looking. Like, 50 year Like, I... Wow. She is so the baby she looks dad, good. the baby daddy's Mark Anthony. Yeah, I mean, I think of that baby of the both of oh, yeah, twins. Yeah, that's she right. has twins, it's a boy and a girl. So she was getting a bear back from Ben Affleck for oh a while. Oh my god, and now it's Rob. a Rob. What can you not? Can you just like <laughs> keep, it, keep it clean? <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, JLo's daughter came out on stage during part of the performance, and um, they were singing Born in the USA like as part of a lyric, yes. I, listen, I don't like Shakira's voice and never have. She's, she's, yodels, she's extraordinary to look at. Yeah, she yodels. She does, and she goes, ah, 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 and she does that thing that I can't stand because it just makes me feel like somebody's about to commit jihad somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just don't like it. Listen, I get she that gets it's a very uneasy. Thing. She's like, take cover! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she freaks out. We just and I don't get like a little how, uneasy. How, well, and by yeah. the way, I learned that that's a, a word. It's called Zagruda or oh, something like that. Okay. And that's a thing that Arab women do to express joy. Mm. It is the most irritating sound yeah. on the planet. I don't really like it either. I don't like it. And then apparently um, you can see all of J-Lo's undercarriage at one point of this. And she was on a pole. <laughs> that, the pole thing we could have done without. <laughs> we could have done without the pole. I don't know if it was that she was trying to pay some sort of homage to the last movie that yeah, she was in. Or she was like, look or... at all the stuff I learned. <laughs> I learned right. how to get on a pole. 
It's like, that's great I mean, that you learn how to get on a pole. That's great that you're 50, you know how to pole dance. That's fantastic. But, I mean, it's, you know, I just... Do we have to get on a pole during the Super Bowl? <laughs> and then she was like, listen, everybody gyrates during, you know, the Super Bowl halftime show. I'm like, well, Michael Jackson didn't. And I was like, well, he grabbed his junk there's like nothing, every 45 seconds. There was nothing there, though. He's like a Ken doll. <laughs> you know? And then, I mean, they, like, Prince didn't really do oh, that. And there's Prince, no better show. There is no better no show. better performer than Prince. No None. better performer. That was the best show ever and of there, all time. And didn't Aerosmith, didn't yeah. they perform? Well, and they I mean, were with Britney Spears, right? Who was also very skanked no, out. She's and awesome. she's very sexy. And so I feel like this is just, we do this all the time. And we get upset all the time. And I don't... This is just the Super Bowl halftime show now. What this is, is how it is. It's basically, it's, it's just strip It's tees. just a strip show. <laughs> it's just, it's like, let's see who can skank out the most and show their boobs. And and look at how empowered they all are. Yeah, they're so <laughs> empowered by getting on a pole and gyrating so around it. empowering. Why are we doing this? Well, that's the thing. I, Why I are we thought, doing this? You know, maybe we should make our podcast all about what what is it that makes an empowered woman? Is yeah. it showing your boobs or not showing your boobs? Yeah. Because we... We got to unpack and untangle that. Yeah, let's unpack and untangle it. So we'll, we should totally, we'll totally do that tomorrow. Um, she watched most of, and I watched all of the new Ted Bundy documentary. It's so good. I watched like three episodes, and so then I was good. like, I'm out, because this chick is annoying AF. Well, okay, because she's like this the entire time. Yeah, she talks like this. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> and she doesn't move. She's like, listen. So when they found like all of these things in Ted's car, like the rope and the handcuffs and like the and the ski mask and the ski mask and the and and everything else. The eyes cut out. I thought that was fine. I still think it's fine. I and went I back to him, and I have a daughter, and I'm a complete effing idiot. I could. I'm out. I'm out. I can't with these people. I just can't. And then they're making money off of this documentary, and I. You know they were probably getting compensated in some way, so I just want to. I want to punch everybody in the face. I, I can't. loved her daughter though. I just love, love, loved her. Yeah, she's alright. She was so great. She's she's remarkably normal. I don't know how she yeah. ended up normal because her mother is a and her mom. Like I don't know if there was something wrong with her neck or because it wasn't even that she was tilted the whole time. It's that she like looked like she couldn't untilt. You know what I mean? Like yeah, she was. Like I just wanted to go like. I know, too. right? I did too. It was making me insane. Just, but listen, she clearly I, has something wrong with listen, her. Listen, you can be crazy all you want, but when you got a kid to take care of, yeah, you better get your crazy in order. <laughs> and then he pushed her off of a raft into like the river, yeah. and didn't let her come back. She had to swim to shore. Yeah, and, she, and, and he, she's like, so yeah, we didn't get along for like a week after that. He tried to kill her. <laughs> And then she was like, oh I don't know, I, I just, you know, it was fine. It was totally fine. I just really loved him. He was super nice to yeah, me. we were in love. <laughs> oh, my and God, we, these women, I swear. It was a really well done documentary. You know why? I think another reason, too, is because it really did um, bring attention to the victims. Like, there was, uh, it was honoring them, them yeah, in a way. Did, you're right. I haven't seen other I documentaries, to I do. totally agree with you on that. It was. Like, the, like Linda Healy, um, you know, they, they talk, I mean, all the victims. Yeah. All of them. They, they actually showed who the victims were, and you were like, this, yeah. it impacted the families. It talked about the families and how he really, God, he just destroyed families. He destroyed families. Yeah. That guy was a monster. And Absolute basically monster. everyone who ever came into contact with him has enormous guilt mm -hmm. about not ever figuring it out or yeah. taking so long to figure it out. Yeah. Anyway, it's just really good. All right, really, so really back good. to the Super Bowl. Um, Fox, they did not um, air the pro-life ad. No, they did not. Um, and that pisses me <laughs> off. But you guys, there were so many good ads. They're like the Bill Murray with the Groundhog Day it was so good. And then Trump's ads were really good. Um, Bloomberg's ad, which is on our website, if you haven't seen it, did he do the anti yeah the, the anti gun? Yeah, it was some lady going, some lady who lost a, a daughter, I think, to gun violence or a son, I can't remember. And she was talking about how now when she heard Bloomberg was running, she finally felt like we have a dog in the fight. Yeah, and I was I've like, seen that one. but it's yeah, it's, it's Bloomberg. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that's. Not a good dog. And, um, and he doesn't even know how to pet dogs. Mm -mm. So he grabs him by the snout, the top <laughs> snout. He grabs him by the top, and then he goes like that. <laughs> that's how he that's how he approaches a dog. Because he you is, shake with a dog. He's from the planet Gleeborg Nine. <laughs> that's where he's from. He is. He's a complete alien. Okay. And then yes, the Jason Momoa one. Oh my God. So Jason Momoa goes home. He's like, yeah, this is my sanctuary. This is where I can like really be myself. And he starts taking off his muscles, like. 
he takes off like a big muscle suit and then his hair he's like all bald and he's skinny and oh like my Lisa God. Bonet Lisa Bonet is there and he's like holding a pole that holds weights and he's like can you help me with this and she's like sure and she just picks it right up oh my it's God it's so great it was so great that, that is so one. great there was a lot of good ads that is awesome lots and lots of good ads um yeah but they didn't do the pro life one because you know we can't have that which I'm I'm super disappointed in Fox. Yeah. What up, Fox? Because all it was was people who have survived abortion saying, I, yeah, I'm i glad I'm here. And I don't understand. Look me in the eye and tell me I shouldn't be. Yeah, so what, I don't understand. We can have, like, drag queens and stuff, but we can't have people who survived abortions? What What is that? Yeah. That was so shame. that's not okay. That is not okay. Mm -mm, um, not okay. <laughs> Did you see that Pam Anderson was married for 12 days? She was married. And she's like, we're stepping away from each other to reevaluate. I don't even, I don't, like, the, the <laughs> statement that she made doesn't even make sense. Like, what, oh, no. do, is there, where is that? We literally just talked, like, last, last week. Last week, and we about like, her getting oh, okay, married. Pam Anderson got married for the fifth time. Yeah, I need to find her message. Like, and where, today she's like, well, we're just going to reevaluate. I don't even understand. Like, I don't even know. Does it say reevaluate? Because I don't I even it know. it said something about reevaluating. Where is it? It's I, towards it, the end. Is it? I know. Because it is the weirdest. Yeah, there yeah it is. here it is. Because it is the weirdest, <laughs> weirdest statement. She's just, it's just is strange. It Life is a journey. <laughs> And love is a process. It's a process. With that guys. universal truth in mind, we have mutually decided to put off the formalization of our marriage certificate and put our faith in the process? <laughs> what the hell, Pam? Thank you for respecting our privacy. What? Why did they even bother? Like, this was literally 12 days ago. I, but I don't, so they didn't have a marriage certificate? I is guess that, they had a that, wedding, but they but hadn't, no, like, formalized it. You get the marriage, don't you get the marriage license first, and then you go in. So <laughs> wait, so you get married, and then what? What? <laughs> she's, it's not like she's never done this before. Right. Yeah, I mean, she's she done does it, have experience. like, 18 times before. I figured she'd be an expert at the marriage thing by now. Yeah. And she anyway. is an expert at getting married. It's just the staying married yeah. that she's not an expert at. Larry's boycotting the Super Bowl. I didn't boycott the Super Bowl. I didn't watch any of it. I just opted to watch a documentary on World War II last night. <laughs> I watched every second of it and mm -hmm. enjoyed it very much. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what do you guys think about what the DNC is doing to Bernie? Because... Damn, they they're don't changing, want him to win. changing all the rules just so they can slip Bloomberg in there. I mean, it's isn't that amazing. Isn't that interesting? Isn't it interesting how they're doing that? I can't. I mean, it, this is so blatant. Like mm -hmm. that's the part I can't believe. You know what I mean? So they've changed the debate rules so that there's no donor requirement, which of course only changes things really for Michael Bloomberg, and it allows him to get on I the mean, debate stage. Could they be more obvious? Oh my God. It's just crazy. I mean, I don't want to defend Bernie, but I cannot believe he's getting screwed over. Why like do you gotta bring me into this? How are you not in a just a total fury? I'm gonna lose my crap. <laughs> I mean, he's you guys. I it's mean, out of control. Like for a second time, they're gonna do this to him. Yikes! I, and today's Iowa. I mean, who knows? He keeps leading in all the Iowa polls, mm -hmm. so we'll see how yeah. that all shakes out today. But I'm gonna shake it, of course. <laughs> Like J Lo, I'm gonna shake it like J Lo and Shakira. Shakira, <laughs> I'm, he is. I, I can't believe that they're doing. I mean, I just can't. They're doing it so blatantly and so obviously yeah. that Democrats, you, God, it's crazy what it's, they're doing. It's because really he snappy. obviously should be the guy, right? I mean, they. This is who they want again. This is who they. It's want. who people want. Yeah, it's who they. It's who Democrats want, which would be great for us. <laughs> It'd be really great for us because that's a clear delineation between batshit crazy and Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. But it's amazing that the DNC doesn't care what their people mm -hmm. want. The yeah. DNC wants Joe or yeah. Bloomberg and they don't care that their entire constituency seems to like Bernie the best. Uh -uh. They don't care. Uh -uh. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. And, then they, amazing. and then they go around talking about, you know, democracy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, Boomer. I mean, at least Michael Bloomberg doesn't have gulags, so I guess that's a bonus, right? Yeah, I, well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, he doesn't like guns. He doesn't like the First Amendment. He doesn't like, obviously, the Second Amendment, where, where there's that. He doesn't, I mean, he he doesn't like, well, I mean, he doesn't like a lot of things. He doesn't like women in the workplace. He doesn't like sugar. He doesn't like sugar. He, if, you, if you get pregnant in the workplace and you're a woman, he'll look at you and say, kill your baby. <laughs> 
there's that. I mean, there's a lot of women that have NDAs right now that, that are not allowed to talk about that. Oh, and he'll get called out on that. I big hope. Big time. I really hope he does. You know Elizabeth Warren would be all over that. Because so far he hasn't had to talk about that stuff. You know, he's just been able to put out these stupid ads. So, it's interesting. And it's funny how they're like, you know, we hate white old billionaires. <laughs> and look at who they're putting. <laughs> Right at the top. I mean, it's, it's, Look at who they're paving the way for. Democrats. Y'all are so transparent. Aren't they funny? <laughs> yeah. Um, no bagels else? for the homeless, Kathy says. What's that? No bagels for the homeless. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Yeah, what do we got going on here? What else? Well, um, oh. Um, oh, Peta says don't call your pets pets. Yeah, don't use the word pet mm -mm. when you're talking about your pets. It's mean. And, like, they know it. I mean, it's like <laughs> pets can really, because pets feel. Pets don't want to feel like commodities, you nah, guys. They, I mean, because they, they care when so you call them pets. don't say that. What are you supposed to say? Companion? companion? You're supposed to call them a companion. Yeah. What if you just say, because I just say my dog. I don't usually use the word pet anyway. Or what if you just call them by their name? I mean, yeah, but, like, if I. You know what I mean? Like, I don't go around saying, my pet, because that's just odd thing yeah, to say. Yeah, it is odd. I always say dog, too. Yeah. I have a dog. But, like, are you allowed to even say my when it relates to your pet? Or you're, are not you just you're not supposed to show ownership. Yeah. But I, do, a, but I do own it. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I don't it, see my dog paying any bills. I got to tell you, not only that, but if I let my Great Dane just go free into the wild, <laughs> he would last about 30. He's like you when Instagram is down. I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> He he would, he would die. He, he wouldn't. He wouldn't last. last he wouldn't last thirty seconds. And he's giant. Oh my god. Yeah, he wouldn't last very long. Um. Anyway, that's really all that's going. There's on. yeah. We're gonna be. It's, so it's we'll one talk of those, more it's about It's Monday, you guys. <laughs> and I need to go get more coffee. She needs to go catch up on all the Super Bowl ads. I do. I need to go watch all the Super. They're I need so to watch good. all the Super Bowl ads, especially. I want to watch the Bill Murray one. Oh, I love that one. I'm dying because I love Bill Murray. So it's I, a good one. That's the one I'm really excited to watch. And then and then the guy that um remember the guy from Horrible Bosses that is like crazy yes, bitch core. crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. He the Tide commercials that he did were and there were several. Yeah, those were great too. Yeah, those I were heard awesome. that that was I heard that one was good. The Groundhog Day one was good, and um, yeah, I just and I need to watch. You Jason, need to watch the. Momoa I need to watch one. Jason Momoa just because Jason Momoa is in it. <laughs> so yeah, it was really good. All right, I can't think of anything else that's exciting that's happening today other than everything that we just talked about. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah. You guys, we hope you have a fantastic Monday. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. I hope everybody's not tired. I hope you've had like 14 gallons of coffee. <laughs> bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, it's a stretch. You guys have a great one. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.